yeah today we are going to start with the new topic that is water you all must be familiar what the water actually is because uh, we also feel that water is very important for us like whenever you feel thirsty what you do you just go to a kitchen take a glass of water and just uh, drink it and sometimes when you can't get the water and you have a feeling like that uh, you have a feeling of being a f you being faint because sometimes you may, uh, you must be knowing that there are certain uh, the fast or the rituals which are followed in which we are not allowed to drink water so what happens that time like uh, we obviously feel the hunger also but uh, uh, with the feeling of the hunger we do have the feeling of the thirst as well so that means water is very important so this is a common example what i have stated for you that the water is very much required by our body and so that means water plays a very important role so like that is what we are going to study today that the water right so uh, after air or you can say like air the water is also so a common uh, you can say a substance which is found on the earth surface right so we have seen that many of the in many of the activities we need water like uh, it is uh, generally used in every aspect like we'll be covering all those aspects all those properties which the water has and what uh, properties make it actually important for us right so oswald was the first scientist who concluded or you can say who who was the first to say that most of the chemical reactions which are taking place in our life they are generally occurring in the common medium that is the water so that means water plays an important role so we'll be covering all its role and activities in the water so just look at the board and listen to me carefully right so first of all we should know what the water is so the formula for the water is h2o right so that means it contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom right one oxygen atom i'll write here also for you so that means the ratio of their volume is 2 is to 1 and the ratio of their combination of masses we know hydrogen mass is 1 so 1 into 2 2 and oxygen is 16 we have only one atom so it comes out to be 16 we can cancel it so it becomes 1 is to 8 May, means this is the ratio of volume like right? so my question is this my first question is this for you that can we have water molecule but if i alter this uh, the ratio so can i have the water can we have the water no we can't have the water because we know that any compound any pure compound obeys law of constant proportion that means for any pure chemical substance same elements are present in the definite proportion of mass and volume so similarly it is obeyed by this also and i think when i said that in any pure chemical compound so it is clear that water is not an element because it is formed of different type of element so obviously it is regarded as a compound so water is a compound so that means it fulfill all the properties that are um, that are uh, flashed by the properties of the compounds so what are those properties i'm just recalling we have already done but i want you to do it repeat it again so water if you get the question that water act as a compound comment so what you are going to write in that case we are going to write that yeah water act as a compound because it is formed of the elements hydrogen and oxygen and the ratio of the combination is definite that means the ratio of volume is 2 is to 1 and the ratio of mass is 1 is to 8 right and obviously the second point what you, i think you remember that that whenever the compound is formed and the properties if we talk about the properties of the compound so the properties of the compound are entirely different from its constituents as i have stated example before also hydrogen is a gas oxygen is a gas but water uh, is a h2o what we get is a liquid so that means the properties are entirely different from its constituents similarly the, the this thing if you if we talk about the separation that we uh, we can separate it constituents or not so yes it can be separated but not by the physical means we can separate it by the chemical means so because it fulfill all those properties so obviously it is regarded as a compound and uh, moreover by looking at the fixed ratio of volume and mass we can conclude that yes this substance is a 
given substance is a compound so this is how so first of all whenever you start any topic you need to know that what actually it is and in chemistry it is very uh, much uh, important that you should know that what we are going to study what are the actual properties it has and what is the basic structure of it right so we are we are starting with the structure so uh, if i talk about the structure of the water molecule obviously the bonding is covalent because hydrogen and oxygen both are non metal so therefore the bonding present in them is a covalent bond right so i'm just drawing a figure for you so just uh, see carefully oxygen and hydrogen right so what is the atomic number for the oxygen it is um, 8 right so configuration is 2 and 6 so how many electrons are going to participate in bond formation obviously 6 so i am putting 6 by indicating by the lewis symbols that yes it is going they are valence electrons and they are going to participate in the bond formation and when i talk about the hydrogen so we you remember that the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 configuration is also 1 and it needs one electron to complete its octet so i am just uh, putting its uh, valence electron as lewis symbol like this so in this in water molecule we have one oxygen and how many hydrogens two we can just see that by looking right so i'm just making a covalent bond so how it is made we have one oxygen and one hydrogen 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 with its one one valence electron and oxygen will uh, this thing arrange its valence electron such that the one electron is facing towards the each hydrogen and the rest overs are just denoted by this pairs right so this is bond is formed this is formed so by forming this bond hydrogen has acquired a duplet that means it has become stable so hydrogen two electrons two electrons and oxygen two four five six and along with that one one each uh, electron of the hydrogen so we can just i'll just put the dashes instead of this electron clouds now because whenever you indicate a uh, this thing the bond formation we need to put the dash one dash means that is one bond pair that is which is contributed by electron from each each atom right so uh, you have seen in this that two electrons have uh, of two electrons of oxygen has participated in bond formation but the two pairs are left uh, they are not uh, they are not participating actually in the bond formation so those pair of electrons which do not participate in the bond formation they are called as lone pairs so it has got two lone pairs right and then there are two bond pairs so that means this electron this uh, molecule is going to suffer the reflect repulsions as well because whenever the electrons are present or you can say whenever the atom is arranged different atoms are arranged around the central atom they suffer a kind of repulsions like right? so we have lone pair lone pair repulsion is maximum and the then um, then lone pair bond pair and the least one is the bond pair bond pair so as it has two lone pairs that is why its geometry get distorted right and it has a special kind of geometry and the name given to is is bent geometry right it was uh, beyond your scope but still i wanted that whenever we start with a topic as i said before whenever you start something so just look at the important properties what it uh, the given substance is showing because it will be uh, it will be more easy for you to understand it in a better way right i think it's clear to you so this is a basic introduction of the water so what is that obviously h2o it is formed of two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen atom so ratio of volume 2 is to 1 if we talk sorry uh, yeah it is ratio of mass and the, when we talk about ratio of mass it is 1 is to 8 and we know that it is a compound because it is fulfilling all the properties which are flashed by the compounds so it is done and if we talk about the structure so we have this kind of geometry as i told you there are lone pair and bond pair as well as uh, both pairs are present in the molecule and due to repulsion the this geometry just gets distorted right and the angle is just decreased to 104.5 dash it is beyond your scope but still you should know right and the special name given to this this geometry is bent geometry and, and it is a distorted tetrahedral geometry actually and the distorted tetrahedral geometry is given a special name that is the bent geometry this you will be doing in detail in the higher class right so for now uh, this is this much is clear for you so that means the bonding which is present in water is obviously a covalent bond because we know hydrogen is also a non metal and oxygen is also a non metal right so i you are just clear with the structures and the basic introduction that what the water actually is now we'll be studying about the forms in which uh, we get the water right so we uh, before we study the forms i want you to know that there are basically two kinds of water which are found one is natural water 
and other is treated water. Now, what is the basic difference between the natural and the treated water? As the name suggests, you can easily guess from the name, natural water that means which is occurring in the nature as such. We are not doing anything in, in which form we are getting that water is a natural water that you found in rivers, seas, lakes and all, right? And the treated water is that in which you, uh, you are just treating it, but means the natural water is being treated and it, the treatment can be anything and depending upon the type of the treatment, we have different types of water. So the different types of water which are obtained by treating is distilled water. What is distilled water? Do you have any idea of distilled water? Yeah, you are right that distilled water is a, actually a pure form of water which is fit for drinking purpose, right? So it is actually free from any, it has no minerals in it, it has no microorganisms in it. Distilled form, distilled water is actually a pure form of water and it is a soft water. You, you should remember the water that we get from river is a hard water because it contains calcium and magnesium ions. But the distilled water is free from all those ions, microorganisms and all. So it is regarded as a soft water. Water. and uh, it is uh, just uh, you can say the it is regarded as the soft water and it is the purest form of the water and the other treated form of water what we get is pipe born water the name sounds to be little different but what do you mean by the it's mean uh, the meaning is very simple that the pipe born water is means the water that is obtained from by the filtration that means the natural water is being filtered and after filtration what happens all the microorganisms are just removed but still the minerals are present in it so the water which is obtained by filtration from which the microorganism has been removed and we are but still the minerals are present in it that is called as pipe born water and the third you must be familiar with it chlorinated water as the name suggests so chlorinated means that the chlorine is added to it as you get the water in swimming pools and all so just to make it free from microorganism it the water that the, is used in the pools and all there it is chlorinated it is just the chlorine gas is passed through it so that all the microorganism gets killed so the, these are the two uh, you can say uh, the types of water what we get one is the natural water that is the natural occurring water which occur and the treated water which we are treating uh, right uh, either it is uh, we are treating chemically or means we are performing certain kind of uh, fun, you can say the uh, some treatments so that um, they can get through um, means it can serve different use right distilled water which is pure form and it is soft water pipe bond the water obtained by the filtration which is free from any germs but still it ca carries the minerals and all and the chlorinated it is uh, just chlorinated that means chlorine gas is passed through it to make it free from all the bacteria, uh, viruses germs and all right so this water is not, but chlorinated water is not fit for, uh, you can say, the drinking purpose. It is just used in the spools and all, right? So this is the two form, the two types of water what we get. Now, when we talk about the form of water, if I talk about the form of water, what is striking in your mouth, my, uh, this thing, mine? We have three uh, forms. You are familiar with it. Yes, ice, uh, liquid, liquid water, that means, and the uh, water vapor you know that so that means the form of water water exists in three forms it exists as solid also it exists as liquid also and it do exist as gas also in solid form what you get is like ice snow like this and the liquid form that is the water what you get like the we can we get the water uh, above the earth surface also below the earth surface also so we have like the the water which we get above the this thing uh, which we get below earth surface is like ground water and which we get on earth surface is the water which is present in rivers and all river seas and all so we get water then that is in the liquid form on the earth surface as well and also the below of the, below of the earth surface and the water which occur in the gaseous form like mist fog water vapor so these are all forms of water in which the water exists right so water exists in three forms it exists as solid also it exists as liquid also and it exists as gas also and i told you when I, we were discussing the states of matter that uh, there is a point that where the three states can coexist and that is called as the triple point so triple point is actually a point when 
three states of water that is the solid liquid and gas can exist um, uh, simultaneously so that is uh, uh, that is not obtained in the normal routine we need to uh, set the temperature and pressure accordingly and the different substances have different triple point at different temperature and pressures right so water uh, also exists in three forms and that point when these three states coexist is called as triple point